why does everything fall to the ground at exactly the same rate? Well, that actually is a clue that there's something much more interesting about gravity than just a force between things. It took the genius of Einstein, who started thinking about gravity 200 years after Newton, to realise that the way things fall is telling us something profound about the nature of reality itself. He realised that when things are falling, you could see that they're not falling at all because they're all staying in the same place relative to each other. So it led him to his theory of relativity. And so we thought, well, what better way to introduce Einstein's theory than to go and film that in action? There is a place where you can see with your eyes what Einstein saw in his mind. This is NASA's space power facility near Cleveland, Ohio, and it is the world's biggest vacuum chamber. It's used to test spacecraft in the conditions of outer space, and it does that by pumping out the 30 tons of air in this chamber until there are about two grams left. Galileo's observation that all objects fall at the same rate is correct, but it's far from obvious. In this case, the feathers fell to the ground at a slower rate than the bowling ball because of air resistance. So in order to see the true nature of gravity, we have to remove the air. dropped two Militor in the last 30 minutes. 6104 manual, 10% open. Station one, go for drop. PCB 30-1, pressure set point at 240 PSI. We are go for drop. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Cameras on, two, one, release. Exactly the same. Wow. Look, look, look. Watch right there. Look how they hit right there. Holy mackerel. Exactly. You're back on the side. Exactly the same. Feathers don't move. Nothing. Look at that. That's just. You know, and then we all realize you go, we're applauding a force of nature. Why are we doing that? We all knew what was going to happen. But it was so wonderful to see it. Isaac Newton would say that the ball and the feather fall because there's a force pulling them down, gravity. But Einstein imagined the scene very differently. The happiest thought of his life was this. The reason the bowling ball and the feather fall together is because they're not falling. They're standing still. There is no force acting on them at all. He reasoned that if you couldn't see the background, there'd be no way of knowing that the ball and the feathers were being accelerated towards the Earth.
So he concluded they weren't. <laughs>